Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here. We're back at our regular post, and come on up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. Come on up, um, Ronan and Aurora. Come on up, Mark and Tiffany, Christian and Claire. Come on up, Raymond, Stacy. Good, great, come on. Today I'm going to tell you about a magnificent bird. He's a beautiful bird, and um, he's strong and graceful, and his name is Bald Eagle. I'm going to actually give you the name. He is, he isn't really bald, but um, that was a name that was um, given to them a long time ago. But he is part of our national emblem and was has been since 1782. There's um, a wingspan of six to eight feet. That picture showed an amazing wingspan um, of this bird. And it weighs about seven to 16 pounds, something like that. But in its overall length is about 28 to 40 inches long. It's carnivorous, which means it eats only meat and the diet of its favorite is fish. And then they eat ducks and snakes and turtles and dead items that they find, dead animals. But um, they have amazing sight. They have powerful, powerful sight. And these talons that they use to uh, hold onto trees and to capture their prey and they are amazing. They're so strong. They can fly up to 10,000 feet high. It's amazing how high up they can go. They, they can dive when they're diving. They're, they dive up to 100 miles an hour. They cruise at about 65 miles an hour. That's like us riding on the freeway. That's how fast they can go. So today I'm going to show you a coloring sheet. It says, God made the bald eagle. And he's beautiful. His head is white. We're going to color that white. His eye is yellow. His beak is yellow. His talon skin his, on his legs are yellow. But those talons, those, those claws are black. His body is brown and his tail is white. It's a beautiful bird, just an amazing, amazing bird to see in flight. At four to five years of age, they, uh, a bald eagle chooses a mate, and they choose a mate for a life. They build an incredibly large nest together. These nests are sometimes can weigh up to as much as 2,000 pounds. They can be as broad across as 10 feet and as deep as 20 feet deep. That's how big these nests are. Now these nests only last five to seven years because they come back every year and re-inhabit these nests and they add more sticks to them and they get very weighty. Both the male and the female sit on the eggs and while one is sitting on the eggs, the other will go out and gather food. So for, at about four or five years old, they develop the brown and white color pattern. When they're born, they are light gray, and then they turn to brown and then to the white with the brown. Females are usually larger than males, and they live up to 30 years in the wild and can live upwards of 50 years in captivity. Their claws are very sharp, and those claws are called talons. They live natively in um, US, Canada, Mexico, also in Alaska. So they are all in this continent. They choose to live near water and um, trees that support large nests. Their babies are called eaglets and they're born with light gray with brown. 
and their eyesight is so good they can see fish a mile away. A bald eagle are excellent swimmers. Their baby eaglets stay in the nest eight to 14 weeks and then sometimes six weeks after that where the parents will feed them. God made the bald eagle. He's a beautiful, magnificent bird. And in the Bible, it talks about an eagle. And it compares uh, the eagle to us in a way. And it says, But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. And they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. That's Isaiah 41, 31. So let's thank God today for the beautiful bald eagle. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you so much for the beautiful animal world that you have created for us, especially the bald eagle. What a beautiful, magnificent bird that is. And I love that you mentioned it in the Bible. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. Thank you for the, each child that's listening today. Bless each one and their families. Protect them, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being great listeners today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.